I don't got to hurt you. God will. You know, you're feeling for no reason, bro. You built your own hatred off looking at me. What's wrong with you? You can't stop what God built, bro. Hey guys, what's up? So I was off today and I decided to go and run some errands. And I was like, let me go ahead and put on a little bit of makeup so I can feel, you know, slightly elevated in my appearance. So I went ahead and did a light coverage, quick, minimum makeup look. And I decided to just go ahead and take y'all along with me during the get ready process. So I just went in with one of my favorite drugstore foundations. And I want to say it's the Fit Me Maybelline and it's the matte color. And let's see, I want to say warm coconut. So I just took a little bit of that, placed it on the back of my hand, and then I sprayed the blender that I'm using with some setting spray and um, just went ahead and started applying the foundation on like my problem area. So anything like, you know, pimples or dark marks, I went ahead and just put it on there and then just blended it out with the, the sponge. So this is not a full coverage makeup look. This is just a almost like putting on skin tint. I didn't use more than a dime size of foundation for this. And then this is all of the concealer that I put on. I should have let my concealer dry down a little bit before I started to blend it out, but I was in a rush and just really wanted to get through. So I did lose a little bit of the coverage, but um, it was still doing what it needed to do because I was still also gonna go ahead and put on glasses. So, it's like, technically, did I need to do this part or was it just extra? But yeah, I just went in with the e.l.f. concealer on the parts of my face that I wanted to be a little bit more highlighted. So under my eyes, again, my forehead, my nose, and then right under my chin. And then I did go in with this Black Radiance Concealer Stick. And then I just put the little areas that I wanted to contour in my face to give my face a bit of definition. So of course, across my forehead, my cheeks, and my chin and nose are the places where I went ahead and added the contour. I do need to make sure that I get into the habit of pulling my do-rag back just a little bit so that I can blend out my contour really good on the top of my forehead because sometimes I miss it a little bit and then I'll do the setting spray and then it's set, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> contour be a little bit dark up there on the forehead. But yeah, I just got to remember to do that. And then basically you just blend it until everything looks like... You know, it's it's not there, but it's there, you know? You see it, but you don't. So you just wanna keep on blending. And I really enjoy Real Technique brushes because they make the blending process so easy. So yeah, um, that is the contour. And then, you know, just go back in, make sure everything is laying down. There's no lines or anything like that. You just wanna make sure everything is pushed into your skin get it in there as good as possible and then just you know blend the the light with the dark when it comes to the highlight and the contour just kind of blend them together before you set it with some powder i just went in with a bronzer over my contour because i didn't want to do like a super harsh dark brown so i just went in with i want to say what's it called something positions i don't know what that bronzer is called but i just went in over the areas where I contoured on my face. And then I also used a, a setting powder by Maybelline. This, it was, it's a Fit Me um, loose setting powder. It works really, really good. I would say it's almost equivalent to a Laura Mercier. Like, I really like this setting powder and it's drugstore, but it gives really good quality when it comes to, um, you know, just setting your face, setting that under eye and setting your concealer. So one of my favorites. And then after using this setting powder, I just went in with um, a pressed powder. That's pretty much the color of my foundation and 
set that all over my face but i guess i did the blush first because how did i not see that i did the blush so i did the blush and then i did the pressed powder that's the same color as my foundation and just put everything together and then i went ahead and set it with some setting spray and then yeah you guys get to see the finished look I am going to show you guys what it looks like in the natural light once I get into the car. So stay tuned to the end because it looks really cute. But yeah, I just did this really, really quick so that I can just go run some errands and feel like, you know, it was a fun, like it was, you know, like something fun to be outside running errands versus like just being out there doing something because you just, you know, have grown-up shit to do so yeah I was like let me put myself together make it you know special so I just threw on a little bit of makeup yeah and then so kept it really simple with the eyes I just went in with a liner and lined the eyes and then put on a little bit of mascara we do go in and give a quick little lippy so with the lip I took a brown pencil baby i took me a little brown pencil right around the lips and then i used a lip gloss from nyx it's a little pink gloss color it's really cute keeps the lips nice and moisturized so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you're new here i'm tamaria and i go by tamaria Lacate on all my socials so feel free to follow me on your favorite one I believe I did not say this in the beginning, but this feels like perfect timing. So <laughs> better late than never. But yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite products are when it comes to makeup in 2024 going into 2025. What are you keeping? What are you using? What do you want to try? But um, yeah, this is the look and... I will see you guys definitely in the next one. Bye. Yeah, they come.